Good evening. You're watching I-24 News here with the hour's headlines. We begin in the West Bank, where a stabbing attack leaves two Israeli females injured, a 23-year-old in critical condition and a 58-year-old suffering light injuries in the settlement of Bet Haron. Initial reports suggest two Palestinians entering a shop within the village and stabbed the first woman before fleeing the scene. Upon escape, they stabbed another woman and then were shot and killed by security on site. There are also reports of two explosive devices detected in the area. They are now being analyzed by Israeli bomb squads. Earlier, we spoke with I-24 News correspondent Shai ben -Ari on the rare scale of this attack. I do not remember any sort of attack uh, on this kind of scale in the current terror wave if these two uh, devices that were found near the scene do indeed turn out to be explosive devices. Uh, apparently there, there are reports that these are pipe bombs that were found at the scene. It's, it's a fairly a well-planned attack. It seems that no, neither explosive device went off, of course, but two people are stabbed. And there are conflicting reports as to the, exactly who was stabbed. Uh, some reports speak of two women, one in her 40s and one in her 50s. What is known is that one of these women uh, uh, is now at Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem in very critical condition where efforts are already underway to save her life.